Hello everyone, my name is uh, Cesar Jiménez Navarro and I've created this course to teach engineers and researchers how to automate CAD tasks by using Python. The main reason for creating this course was the lack of online content and guided examples to learn how to properly use the Python module PyCatia, which, in my opinion, is incredibly powerful and later on we will see why. First, I would like to briefly introduce myself. I'm an aerospace engineer with a major in aerodynamics and aircraft design, and I'm also a doctor in fluid mechanics. During my academic life, I've studied in five different universities all over Europe, where I've developed a big passion for the aerospace sector and computational fluid dynamics. This interest motivated me to participate in a formula student project, to design three aircrafts entirely from scratch and work in multiple projects involving large CFD simulations. Additionally, I have considerable experience in scientific visualization for data analysis. Finally, I also love uh, programming, so there is no surprise that I find automation approaches very interesting to increase productivity at work, like the ones we will see over its course. You might be wondering why you should be interested in learning how to create scripts for CATIA. Well, you will be able to automate repetitive tasks and workflows in CATIA. You will ensure design efficiency and consistency while reducing the chance of errors that may occur with manual intervention. Scripting also allows you to customize your task to better suit the specific needs and integrate them into workflows with other software applications for design analysis. You can unlock advanced features and functionalities that will be too demanding through the graphical user interface alone. Proficiency in scripting for CATIA is a valuable skill sought after in various industries, especially in engineering, manufacturing and product design. And the strongest point of this module is that we're using Python, so there is no need to learn Visual Basic or having to use Excel to interact with CATIA. You can use the most popular programming language in engineering and data analysis to work. For the course, you will need CATIA 3.5 installed in your machine, at least Python version 3.9 or later, and the module PyCATIA installed in your Python environment. Moreover, I'm assuming that you are an intermediate CATIA user and you know how to create 3D models using sketches, feature-based modeling and surface modeling tools, you are comfortable with the CATIA interface and toolbars, and you're familiar with the Sketcher, Part Design, and Generative uh, Shape Design workbenches. Last but not least, I expect that you have some experience uh, troubleshooting common issues and errors within the software. In this course, I've gathered the essentials for automating CAD processes with Python. You will learn how to access to CATIA objects, how to use the CATIA core benches and command, and how to work with design parameters and constraints. For this, I've prepared a set of scripts that will show you good scripting uh, techniques and limitations. You will learn how to automate typical user inputs through the graphical user interface, and also how to combine uh, programming techniques to develop more elaborated CAD models. The way I've structured this course is the following. First, I will give an overview of the course and the virtual environment where we will work. Then, I will show how to automate sketches and perform basic operations inside the sketcher. After this, we will learn how to create hybrid bodies and reference elements with the Generative Shape Design Workbench. Section 4 will be dedicated to part design operations for creating 3D solid bodies, and we will see how to create surface models and perform surface operations in Section 5. Finally, we will go over the examples of using a PyCATIA to automate the design of solid components. All the scripts we use in the, the course will be provided so you can explore them in detail and take them as reference. And this is everything from my side. If you are involved in a project that requires the usage of PyCATIA, this is a great opportunity for you to increase productivity at work. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the course.